I didn't sleep well last night and I'm feeling kind of cranky so I'm in the mood to go dig in the dirt. I've been wanting to make this pond bigger and last year I had kind of dug out more over there. So since the ground has been saturated and lots of rain, I'm thinking that it might be easier for me to start digging now. So yeah, it's a cool day today, good day for it, so I'm going to do it. add a little bit of water before I go any further. I built up this wall a little bit here down at the bottom because, well, it needed it. It needed to be higher. Um, so I dug out a little bit more. Yep, I think I need to add some more water. Yeah, I think I need to dig some more. I think that's enough digging for one day. Now I gotta build some walls. Alrighty then, let's add some more water. That's a whole lot of water and it is holding down here and um, I really wanted to just fill it up so that I could see because I'm not a judge of angle or distance or whatever um, so I'm just doing this by trial and error I, I do know that this part of the pond is higher than this um, not just the banks but I mean the land itself so I've dug this deeper and what needs to happen is when it gets full, um, it needs to come out this way. So I may have made this a little bit high, but I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is get some more soil and just build up this part. Because it looks like it's going to start spilling out over this area over here. And I don't want that. I want it to go out this way. So, um... I'm going to put one more thing of water in it and see what happens. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm going to try and tip this with one hand so we can watch it over there and over here. If it starts spilling out over there first, that's the good thing. Alright, come on, don't disappoint me. Oh, it's already starting to, I just can't see it. See, I've got some bricks and rocks over there, and it is not coming out over here yet. And it's already starting to kind of seep through. So yeah, I think that this is fine. Um, it's going to hold a whole lot of water. Alright, let's just get this going a little bit more. Can you see? It is actually going out there. And it is not coming out over here. So, yep, it's trickling out over there. That's going to be just fine. Look at it. Look at it. It looks like a little waterfall. Alright. Okay, now all I need to do is kind of reinforce this because in it, if it rains, it's just going to wash these away. Even though I put a bunch of rocks 
in there, um, a rocks and stones and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know. I think I think what I can do to help it is get some shrubbery, some growing plants, and put them in the soil so that it won't erode. I built it up a little bit higher in places because I knew that if it rains again, it's gonna, you know, rinse some of that away. Um, but I think this is pretty good. If I can just get these walls to stay, everything else is gonna work just fine. And I even got me a little waterfall. Cool. I have no idea how much water is in there. I'm gonna have to go back and check how many times I added water. But there's a whole lot. So I think this is this is going to be the grand pond build. It's gonna water the chickens, it will provide other wildlife, little birdies. It will be a frog pond. Um, look at I can't wait till this water settles down. Once it settles down, it gets really pretty clear. So there's gonna be plenty room for more tadpoles. And if worse comes to worse, um, since this pond does retain the water unless it evaporates, I can just get in here and get a little bit of water and water some plants. So I don't know, maybe someday I'll make it bigger, just dig it further into there because I don't know if you remember seeing me talk about this there is like water that comes just like almost like a waterfall out of that little mountainside thing so um, and it just comes down into here so if I could just dig it more that way and make it a little bit bigger that would be awesome maybe someday I'll dig it deeper and get some fish You gonna stop and get a drink of water? Oh my gosh, they're gonna they're gonna kick down my little walls, aren't they? <laughs> Maybe not. You're not even gonna stop and get a drink. My goodness. There you go, Miss Roxy. You dig it? <laughs> yeah, it's going to take some time for those walls to set up. I may have to keep going back and adding more and more to it. Um, but I think if I get something growing on those, they'll uh, hang in there a little bit longer. What you doing, girlfriend? Are you terrorizing your fellow flock mates. Oh look at they're drinking the runoff. It's over there, it kind of pulls over there. That's okay. Yeah, I did get a little bit too much water in. Um, but it, it just proves my point that this is going to work out the way that I wanted it to. Because the water is going to exit here first through the area with the rocks. I need to put some more rocks on the inside to just kind of stabilize this. I'm so happy with this. I really, really dig it. I can't wait till it all settles so that you can see the bottom of the pond a little bit better. Oh, I'm tired. Look at me. I am a mess. I'm a disgrace. Look at I'm a dirty girl. I'm so dirty. Oh my goodness. I just picked this thing off a pop of the snout. I just treated him two days ago. Well, one day ago. Yeah. One day ago with his flea and tick medication. So you know what I'm going to do with this thing? I'm going to burn it with fire. I don't even care. Die. Totally gross, but I did do a thorough tick check on him, and he has no others, so once the tick medication has a chance to spread, it's going to do its job. It always has. This is the first tick I've pulled off of him since I got him. So, oh, poor boy. And you're shedding. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.